I'd like to introduce you to Jennifer Johnson, Certified Legal Nurse Consultant. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining me here today. Oh, thank you too, Vicki, for inviting me. And Jennifer, I know you started your legal nurse consulting business seriously last year, and it seems like you're doing pretty well. So congratulations for that. What motivated you to become a certified legal nurse consultant? Well, I looked at the uh, skill sets that I have, and I've always liked to research even before I became a registered nurse. So the skills of research and my skills in nursing and learning something new, that was really motivated me. What personal traits would you say have really contributed to your success? I would say it's um, the personal traits. I'm a really motivated person, self-motivated. Uh, so getting out there and really executing a plan, a business plan, that's really what got me out there and to do it for myself. So being motivated and taking that action every day, right? That we talk about in the program. Yes, I actually have calendars that I use to really plan out my day and make sure I stay on track. That's helpful. When you made the decision to become a certified legal nurse consultant, did you have any fears? And if yes, how did you overcome those fears? Uh, yes, I did have fears. I'm not a, um, I'm more of an introverted person. So uh, I ac actually had to make marketing plans and whether I felt like it or not, I just picked up the phone, made introductions, and I actually went to a conference with a for attorneys. And I got out there, and even though I was fearful of it, once I got there, everybody was so nice. So it was actually going despite the fear. You're saying a couple of things here that I think are important. First of all, you said you're an introvert. I always say introverts probably make the best people for actually analyzing the cases, right? Because right. you sit there, take your time with the medical record. And if you're at your desk for several hours, you're not looking for interaction with other people as much as those extroverts. So it's not right. a bad trait to be an introvert. But I also said, like that you said, that you pushed yourself despite your fear. In other words, once you got out there, these lawyers weren't as scary as you thought they would be. And yes. that's so true for any aspect of pursuing something, isn't it? We're always going to have fears, but it's people like you who say, okay, I've got it. I'm going to acknowledge it, but I'm going to move on anyway, right? Yes, definitely. It was worth it. Oh, yes, it was definitely worth the ride. Yes. And I'm still enjoying the ride. <laughs> what do you love most about owning your CLNC business? Uh, well, you, you get a lot of autonomy. Uh, so you get to make your own schedules. And um, every case is so different. So it is a very exciting uh, career, you know. And I believe I like making up, uh, just having different experiences with each case. So you can see doing this for a long time and not getting bored or getting burned out. Oh, definitely never get bored. Every case is so different. It's also uh, what's going on like COVID, you know, so you have new cases and new things coming out constantly. And that's going to be true as long as we're in this industry, right? There's always going to be new litigation. And so yes. what you say is that you like being able to get involved in new types of litigation. Yes, I do. It's keeping me aware of uh, what's out there, new opportunities. And even if I don't get a case per se, I'm considered an expert. How would you say your CLNC business has changed your life? And how would you say it's changed even you personally? I would say it's changed my life uh, because not only um, was I thinking of a business, I always wanted to go into business. 
So uh, as a nurse, I wanted to find out for a while, you know, what type of business could I go into? And when I looked into legal nurse consulting, actually a friend, a former coworker said that I would make a good legal nurse consultant. So I looked into it and I found out it was skills that I've always, you know, wanted to hone in on like research, looking at how uh, different diseases play out with personal injuries and cause and effect. So that was always something that I uh, wanted to do. As far as it helping my life, you know, the, the autonomy, increased confidence, you know, as being considered as an expert and, um, and just the ability to know that I can have an income uh, just with legal nurse consulting. So again, this is your business. Yeah. Yes. It's yes. a business, not a hobby. <laughs> it is a business. Yes. How would you say being an independent consultant is different than working inside the healthcare system? Uh, you know, with the autonomy, you get to create your day. Uh, you get to design and plan how you would like your career to be. Uh, once you plan it, you execute it. Instead of going to a job that's already created for you, it gives you um, more creativity too. I'm more creative now because of that. Okay, so that's interesting. So you feel like you're a little more the driver of your own life working? Definitely, yes. Yes. What is your definition of success? My definition of success is uh, looking at not just my career, but also um, taking a plan and executing it. That's success no matter what the outcome is. And also when I think about uh, the rest of my life, it's enjoying the moment, enjoying the journey, enjoying friends and family, as well as my career, and aspiring to be a healthier individual. <laughs> That's a fantastic definition of success. I love it. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And I'm looking forward to hearing more about your success. Oh, and thank you too, Vicki. I'm enjoying myself. Thank you.